Hi, my name is Lana Nelson. I teach fifth grade at Summit. Um, this is my sixth year of teaching and I've been using a blog in my classroom for two years. Um, the first year it took a little while for parents to get used to it, but I've really enjoyed this year. Almost all of my parents log on and like to see just fun activities. I post pictures of our lessons and I just really feel like it helps parents feel connected to the classroom and helps them see what we're doing. Open up your default web browser. I'm using Safari. Click in your search bar and type in blog. Hit enter. Your search engine should come up with a few options. We are going to use a free blog website called blogger.com. Click on the link that says blogger create a free blog. This is the blogger homepage. To create a free blog, click create a blog. This is also the site that you will use to sign in to your new blog. Blogger will ask you to set up a Google account in order to keep track of your blog. The email address and password you enter here will serve as your login information on the home page. While entering your password, Blogger will help ensure that you have a strong password by indicating strength or length beneath the first password text fields. The display name that you choose will be visible to all students and parents that view your blog. You can accept or reject email notifications by clicking the box. Type in the letters exactly as you see them in the word verification section. This is a security measure to ensure that you are a person and not a computer. Check the box to accept the terms of service. Feel free to read through the terms of service before clicking continue. Now you get to name your blog. You may want to make the title of your blog something related to your classroom. Your blog title will appear at the top of your blog for all of your viewers to see. You also get to pick your blog's web address. Start by typing in what you would like your web address to be and click check availability. If what you typed isn't available because it is being used by someone else, Blogger will give you a few options. You can click one of the options provided or try again. Click continue. Choose the minimal white template if you are planning on adding a decorative background. Backgrounds will be covered in a screenshot tutorial later. Click Continue. Congratulations! You have created a classroom blog. Start blogging! You are now ready to create your first post. For more information on posting, please visit our screenshot tutorial.